Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I upload on Thursdays. And so if you subscribe and you should have subscribed by now, you will see, you will get a notice that uh, new content is uploaded. And I um, am happy to, um, to find you here. I wanted to dedicate this particular upload to all of us. I am barely in a little more than six months with my channel. <laughs> so I'm celebrating, but I'm celebrating an appreciation of you being with me and following along me and subscribing to me and sharing my uploads with me. I have to remember to say upload. <laughs> and I'm finding the content to be positive because the whole purpose of this channel for me is um, to give uh, the sweet truth about issues, about accountability and apology. And those are hard subjects for people. And I understand that. And to recognize that being kind is not being weak, not at all. And to honor one another and that my content is purposeful and people have purpose in our lives. And that's what this particular topic for today will be. And that is the synchronicity of our souls. Ooh, souls. Ooh. <laughs> yes, souls. I'm a strong believer that people have, I'm a strong believer that people have purpose in our lives. And you don't know what people have been chosen for you. We get the people in our family by assignment. And many times if we could, we would change them. <laughs> but the friends we choose, become like family often. Um, but it is up to the universe to plant individuals in our path or along our path for us to meet and greet. And then it is up to us to recognize who that person is in our lives, whether they're here to stay, to slay, or to go away. <laughs> it is our virtue of awakeness, of being aware. So aware versus awake, aware, A-W-A-R-E, awake, A-W-A-K-E. The so only difference is the letter between the R and the K. And to me, the R and the K represents revelation knowledge, okay? So let's just start there. Aware, are you even aware why that person appeared in your life at that particular time? And are you awake enough to recognize they're supposed to stay. Because if you were not, you may have sent them away. This is what I mean by stay, slay, or sent away. You may have sent them away and how wrong you were. Synchronicity helps us with that. And because we were never taught about synchronicity and um, we, you know, they say dismiss chance and dismiss luck and dismiss that, but you don't know how the universe gets things to you, to you, to us, to each other. We are all on this journey at a life, at a lifetime in a specific time. So this is why I wasn't born a million years ago and neither were you. This is why there's something like YouTube, social media, they call me a content creator now. So I, this is how you're getting my creation of my content. I may not ever have met you, but there you are right now and channeling with me, connecting with me, seeing with me, uniting with me, hearing from me, seeing what my energy is all about. And all of that, because we never know what the universe has in store for our learning and our burning. That's why it is up to us to be aware and awake, RK, revelation knowledge, and understand what that is. Because to me, to me, and I'm no scholar on many things, but I do consider myself a woke soul. I give everybody the 
opportunity to present themselves to me as they choose without any judgment, but what they show me. Having said that, I think we often lose our chance, lose our luck, lose our opportunity, lose our ambition, lose our desire. Because we didn't recognize the purpose of that person in our lives. That coach could, who could have brought you to a higher level. That teacher who could have taught you in a way that it was magical. That friend who could have helped you grow as a better friend. That mentor who could have guided you along the way and held you accountable for your steps. That potential love, that potential business partner, all of these things are presented to us. And many times we are not even aware, there he is, there she is, there they are. What is that person about? Because we're so present and unpresent at the same time. Not aware, not awake. So the universe is kind enough and mysterious enough to not tell us everything, make us work for some of it, make us lose some of it like mistakes we made in relationships, any type of relationship, could be any type of relationship that we have made. And if we don't, like I say, learn, lose, or love, it's really, yeah, learn, lose, or love. If we don't learn, we could lose a love that should have lingered the rest of our lives. Yeah. If we don't learn, we could lose a love that should have lingered the rest of our lives. A friend love, a brother love, a sister love, a love love. Where to find another person like her? She was your dream. She was your dream. That's why you never met him. Where to find another guy like him? He was everything. You thought never existed until you met him. But because you treated, you weren't aware and you weren't awake. You treated them regular when they were never a regular person. They're rare. And so it is incumbent upon us to be aware and awake enough to recognize who this great grand universe has placed before us, has been so kind and so loving, and so graceful, and so honorable to put this person in front of us that I can learn, that I can grow, that I can master an instrument, that I can master a tennis racket, that I could shine better because they get glory because they coached me through, that I could love deeper like I never loved before, that's the reason why I divorced before, to get to this person. And now I'm ready. All of this, the universe is under no obligation to tell us why. The universe is under no obligation to tell us the details. The universe is under no obligation to give you an answer. You, we are under obligation to the universe to come ready. So come ready. 
stick with me. I hope you check me out every week. I love you. I just wanted to talk about synchronicity, synchronicity. Some people say synchronicity. Synchronicity um, is more powerful than connecting. It's more powerful. You know, people say things like, oh yeah, like we really connect. You know, I really met her and we really connect. She, she and I are gonna be good friends or maybe boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever. And it's because you have a connection. But when it comes to souls uniting, a connection is elementary. A connection is underscore. A connection is small. This is why you can't connect by awareness to recognize it. So elevate you or decide that's too much for you, which you know it's not. That's an excuse. Grow up. That's an excuse. That's an excuse. <laughs> That's an excuse. That's an excuse. Somebody's already met that person. If you've already met that person and you think you've jacked it up, you better go back. Let me tell you why. The universe works in mysterious ways. As I said earlier, it's under no obligation to give it to you again. That was it. You were so highly favored and so highly blessed and so highly enamored and so highly loved and so highly regarded that the universe gave you that ideal person, boss, friend, sister, brother, lover, whatever, whoever that is for you. They love you enough to present that person to you. You messed it up. And the universe is under no ob obligation to send them back to you. As a matter of fact, the universe will not send them back to you. The universe will grow you up and make you go back or make you lose it all together. Wake up, king. Wake up, queen. And I love you. Stay synchronized. Move yourself out of, move yourself out of the way. If yourself is blocking your good, move yourself out of the way and enjoy the riches that lie before you because the universe desires for you to have it. And so do I. Namaste. And I love you. Bye.